Hello, welcome to Linda Lakes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I am glad that you're back. Okay, so today the video is going to be for, or this video is going to be for my Aquarius, my Aquarii, my Aquarian. <laughs> okay, you can have Aquarius anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, place where it needs to go, or you could be cross-watching for an Aquarius. Okay? Oh, all right. Aquarius. Okay, check this out. I feel like Aquarius, you guys could be dealing with a hidden enemy right now. Okay? There's somebody that is around you that is not telling you exactly their true intentions or how or they're not showing you truly how they feel about you. Um, good or bad, okay? Someone is concealing something from you, okay? They're not giving you the full story. Something like that is significant, okay? I also feel like there could there's somebody around you that is um, trying to be in your shoes, okay? Or is trying to be you, all right? Or someone here is some... Somebody could be someone who, like, wears a lot of shoes. Or not wears a lot of shoes, but... <laughs> they have a lot of shoes, okay? Like, there is someone who likes to buy a lot of shoes. That could be a clarification for someone. Um, or the person that wants to be in your shoes is trying to find the perfect formula. Or is trying to find the formula on how to be you. So, like, they're trying to find out how to make your shoe in order for them to walk in your shoes. Does this make sense? Okay. That's for someone in particular. All right. I also got something about the bay. So, sitting at the dock in the bay. <laughs> how's that song going? Hold on. How's that song go? Wasting time. I don't know. So, okay. So, somebody here could be feeling like they're wasting time. Um, twiddling their thumbs, sitting at the dock of the bay, or something like that. Or someone's name, someone's name could be May, or someone, something about the month of May is significant, okay? Or something about May, June, and July is significant. I don't know if these months are, this, something could be significant about these months coming up is what I'm getting, okay, for you Aquarius. Going back to Bay, though, I feel like somebody could live at the Bay. I need to slow down, okay? <laughs> My ass. I need to slow down. Someone could live in the Bay Area, or you could live by a Bay, okay? Like a body of water or whatever a Bay is, okay? <laughs> um, I also feel like whoever this person who's trying to copy you or whoever this person who's been concealing something from you or hiding something from you, good or bad, okay? Um, this person's about to snap, okay? So when I mean good or, good or bad, what I mean by that is like somebody could be just hiding how they feel about you like in a good way. Like someone could be hiding their true feelings that they love you or they have an attraction for you and all of a sudden they're just gonna snap and tell you or something, I don't know. <laughs> or... It could be someone who don't like you and they're going to snap and tell you or, I don't know, something like that is significant, okay? Or if someone's been cheating, I don't know. Place it where it needs to go for your situation. I also got something about, um, something about flowers that need to be replaced. So, somebody here, if you have like an altar... For your ancestors, okay, maybe your flowers are dying or something, you need to replace them, all right? Or replace the flowers that you have with different types of flowers or something like that, okay? I'm getting something about a sunflower. I also got something about pretzels and mangoes, okay? I don't know if this is like something that you've eaten recently or something you've been craving, okay? Pretzels and mangoes. All right. Someone could uh someone could live on Dickerson Street, okay? Or someone's last name is Dickerson. That's not for everybody. 
okay? I also feel like somebody here, like, someone here is a fucking liar. You're dealing with someone who can't, can't help themselves. They just lie. Something like that is significant. Someone could be acting like a spoiled brat, or there's someone here who's spoiled, or maybe you're realizing you're spoiled. I don't know. Place it where it needs to go. Your child, maybe you're realizing you, you raised your child and they're spoiled i don't know place it where it needs to go okay i don't want to talk about people's kids but when i saw the word spoiled brat i thought of a child so or maybe someone's just acting like childish okay someone could be 44 years old someone else could be 17 so if you have a 17 year old maybe this is clarification man i'm talking about this 17 year old i don't know okay Oh, what tells, what tells, what tells. All right, let's get into this. Let's get into this Aquarius. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my Aquariuses need to hear? Maybe someone could feel like they're wasting time on what decision to make or something. Or someone's like, maybe somebody's like in a relationship with someone and they're starting to realize that this person is just wasting their time. Maybe this person is not going to like, um, maybe someone's waiting for someone to propose or commit and this person is just taking their sweet time. Something about a cat, maybe you just adopted a cat. Or you're thinking about getting a cat or something about somebody's cat is significant. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Ooh, well, that's not a good transition. We got death here. So something definitely here is ending. It says, I am learning that endings are merely beginning. So if someone's in a relationship and they feel like, um, damn, and I said something about flowers dying. Okay, listen. The love, somebody, somebody's love for somebody, or oh, I guess this could be many things. Somebody's love for somebody could be dying, or attraction for someone could be dying, okay? Or has already died. I'm also getting like somebody could have saw some sort of beauty in someone, and, and I'm not talking about outside beauty, I'm talking about inner beauty. I feel like that that is also diminishing. Or someone doesn't see the beauty in something anymore. Okay. Maybe somebody knows something has to end. Tell more. Dang. We got health here. Something regarding somebody's health is of concern. Okay. We have failure here. It says, I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Bottom of the deck, we have partnerships and alliances, number three. So this is about some sort of relationship going on. There's a lot of relationship readings going on now, like the energy. So I feel like this is like a time for the for a lot of people to be coming together. Maybe in the next couple of months, the next four months. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? Yeah, someone here has already made a decision. Yeah, somebody made a decision here when it came to someone. Okay, and I'm also getting, somebody here could be getting, um, mm. listen, okay, somebody here could be, could be making a final decision on ending something in a relationship, in a job, in a mindset, in a habit, okay? I'm also getting, though, if somebody could, if someone put false charges on somebody, that person's gonna get something some ruling is gonna be thrown out or some sort of case is gonna be thrown out. I'm also getting though with this. Somebody's something's gonna end for somebody because someone's gonna be found guilty for for stealing something. Okay? We have thief here. Or trying to steal something. Somebody could have been trying to steal your identity. Going back to someone trying to be in your shoes, okay? Yeah, there could be something about a house. It doesn't have to be. Houses also represent body, like somebody's body. 
so and it's clarifying with the health so some somebody's health could be declining or something is going on with somebody's health or the health of a relationship here or a marriage um tell me more yeah we got bad health out here something about somebody's health we got bad health here with failure it says i understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn Okay, and then we have journey number 10. So something here is definitely completing. I don't know why I'm breathing so heavy. Something about someone's lungs. And don't you dare be like, it's all the incense and sage are burning. Okay, <laughs> it might be, but I don't know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Yeah, this is about a marriage. <laughs> Or there could be a third party involved in this uh, this partnership. Maybe that's why something has to be um, completed or cycled, needs to be closed up. We do have the gift here. So something about a gift or an opportunity or something being offered to someone because after an ending. Or somebody's health failing. Okay. I'm just saying what's out here. <sighs> Sitting at the dock of the bay, wasting time. Okay, so that's even more creepier. Maybe somebody here has been waiting for someone to be, to, to, for someone's health to fail. Maybe somebody's been waiting for someone to pass away. That's not good. Listen, I also feel like somebody's watching you. Someone could be watching you through using um, divination. Someone could be abusing divination. Yeah, somebody here is refusing to release someone's energy here. And they just keep watching someone. Either in the physical or spiritually through using divination here. Someone's name could be Kevin. Don't have to be. Someone's name could be Daniel. I'm also getting Jim. Someone here is going to spiritual jail or physical jail. Or someone just came out of jail. Something about court. Someone could have a court case. Something about this court case. Maybe if someone um, gets found guilty for some sort of theft. Okay. There could be an end to that person's uh, life, basically. Like living out as a you know what i'm saying <laughs> holy spirit holy angels like a, as a free person tell me more why do we got this Ooh, somebody here was playing games with the court of law or with the justice system here someone that's the games that someone's playing there's going to be a, a death put to that okay there's 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 a judge out here that's gonna put an end to something yeah someone here could be a tarot card uh reader that's hating on you that's doing this or someone's hating on you if you read tarot cards i could be talking to a tarot card reader and we got hater out here again so someone here really is hating i'm also getting anyone who's been hating on you or playing games with you trying to play with your mind trying to play in your energy in general the divine is making the final judgment and Putting an end to this. Okay. Someone's going to be getting some sort of judgment. They're going to be getting some karma. Here. Ooh. Listen. Someone here was warned... To disengage from playing with you and playing with your energy and someone didn't someone didn't listen to that warning okay so i feel like if someone was trying to because look we got car accident in reverse as well so somebody here could have been trying to get you to be harmed for your body to be harmed for your health to be harmed okay i feel like that could have been backfired and now it's affecting their body their home their car or something maybe someone didn't take some sort of warning seriously they didn't they weren't they didn't think it was serious what they were playing with okay yeah this is someone who laughs at your pain here 
This is someone who likes to see other people in despair. Um, this could be someone who's very sadistic in nature. Yeah, somebody's lies here is catching up to them, okay? Somebody's lies could be like tormenting someone's uh, conscience is what I'm getting here. I'm also getting someone failed to tell the truth about something, okay? It says closed mouths don't get fed. I'm also getting someone had a chance to like ask for help, but they failed to do it. Now they're realizing that they could have, okay, I feel like somebody here could have missed an opportunity either with you or something in their life, but they failed to open their mouths and say something. They, they decided to keep it hidden, okay, is also what I'm getting. Someone could be being, somebody could be depressed. What is this? Someone could be paranoid, anxious, scared, fearful of something here. Maybe somebody's fearful about their health being affected. If they decided to send that energy your way and they know that you're healthy and well, maybe they're getting um, readings done on you and your health, your health is fine or the energy that's coming up is that you're fine. So now they're getting fearful. They're becoming fearful. Tell me more. Ooh, look, somebody going to prison. I'm also getting somebody here was trying to put you in prison. Whoever this hater is. If someone was playing games with the court system, like I'm getting something about like false documents or fraudulent something, paperwork, somebody here who they're they about to get their ass handed to them. This person could have been trying to get you really fucked up. A free person. Maybe somebody didn't want you to be free. Okay. Also, I'm getting here with this marriage and this partnership and alliances. There's somebody here that wants to partner partner up with you. Okay. This could be friend, family, business, place where it needs to go. Spirit wants you to pay attention to the red flags when this person comes in and tries to offer you whatever this is here. Number 17. Interesting. Um, be cautious of this. Ooh, damn. Look at this. After the, the gift card is imprisonment somebody could be trying to offer you something okay whatever this offer is it could be somebody could be lying about what this offer truly entails or whatever this gift is it could be something that's stolen so someone can be over here uh trying to set you up to get locked up for something or to have something be pinned on you so just pay attention i feel like this person might be coming in acting like they really want to work with you um I'm looking at this number here, 33. Someone could be 33 years old, okay? Or somebody's life path number could be number three, okay? Yeah, somebody here is trying to get back, just trying to get close to you, get back in your life so they can backstab you. So please be aware of this, okay? Mm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this hater we have here for my Aquarius? Listen, I'm going to try to make sure this isn't too long, all right? But I say that every time, so who knows? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what have we got this right here? Who is this? Who is this hater playing games? Hmm. This could be somebody's ex ex partner. Anymore. Ooh, damn! Someone here could be a feminine energy, or I could be talking to a feminine energy that this is happening to. Place it where it needs to go. Tell me more. What is up with this dragon? Someone could have been. Uh, someone could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dragon. Okay, what it says right here at the bottom, it says lucky, flexible, eccentric, imaginative, artistic, spiritual, enthusiastic, and charismatic. This could be some characteristics of you or somebody that you're dealing with here, okay? We also got the pig here, okay? So I feel like what's going to happen here is that somebody, whoever, some, 
if there was a hater out here trying to like drag your name in the mud your true characteristics are going to be proven okay it says honorable philanthropic uh determined optimistic sincere generous and sociable okay interesting what is the zodiac sign spirit who do we we need to figure out who this is Who's zodiac sign is this? The hater. Yeah, your hater could be a Scorpio, or they could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. This hater could be a Cancer, or they could have Cancer somewhere in their chart. This hater could be another Aquarius. This person could be a Libra. Or someone could have Libra in their chart. And you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Or someone who has Gemini in their chart. Here. <sighs> I also feel like... Mm. <laughs> Somebody could have lied to an Aquarius or an Aquarius could have lied to you. Another Aquarius, put it where it needs to go. Somebody could have failed to be trustworthy or empathetic or modest or diplomatic in a situation or responsible when it came to some form of information. Someone was holding on to some sort of secret or some sort of truth for a very long time is what I'm getting here. But I feel like it's not going to take very long for some sort of truth to come out with this short term out here. I'm also getting there's somebody out here that might be offering you something like they're, they, they could be saying like, oh, this is going to be a long term contract or um, I'm committed to you for a long time. But really, they intend to do something only for a short time. Somebody's um, somebody's first, middle or last name could start with a V. Um, they're showing me the word heretic. Heretic? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can tell me more? Mm. Whatever ruling was, uh, whatever ruling that was final in, in, in court, someone is extra triggered by it, okay? Maybe someone's also extra triggered that people are seeing you as someone who's honorable, generous, compassionate, empathetic, sociable, all that jazz, okay? Someone's extra triggered by this, whoever your hater is, okay? I'm also getting whoever your hater is that's extra triggered, they're upset that something is over here, something's done with. So, someone could be upset that you no longer want to deal with them or that you disengaged. Yeah, whoever your hater is, they could be threatened by you, okay? They may be trying to do, they may try to come in and try to threaten you with something. Or maybe this is something that's already happened in the past. It says intimidating, threatened, bothered. Someone here is bothered and I feel like they're bothered because you're unbothered. Is what I'm getting here. Tell me more. Mmm. Yeah, somebody here could be going bankrupt. Um, somebody here could have recently lost a car. Um, someone here could be losing a home even. You got bankrupt. Okay. This could have been someone who didn't think you were shit. Okay. Or whoever's getting bankrupt is someone you feel like ain't shit. Okay, I don't... <laughs> Yeah, whoever this person is, is someone who's a spiritual hater. Okay, yeah. Listen, someone, I'm definitely talking to someone who's like into some divination. Or is someone who's very spiritual. Whatever you do, this person hates on it. It says, hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, and your power. This person's very upset about this. Somebody could have been lying about... Um, okay, if there's someone who's who is like a light worker, you do something in the spiritual... 
I don't even know what to call it, industry. Somebody here, this hater, could have been trying to take some sort of um, case to court to try to say that you, you're you doing something that you're not doing, okay? They could have been saying, like, you're scamming people or you're harming people or you are starting some sort of cult or something. Someone's trying to do something or someone was trying to do something. It's all because this person hates your belief system or the fact that you're just magical, okay? Or you have some sort of power or someone just hates your light because it reflects the demons that they have not conquered within them okay yeah somebody could feel rejected by you or this could have been someone that you rejected okay Ooh. okay with the lies here this lie all these lies could have been someone trying to ruin your reputation I feel like this person could be upset because they failed at being able to ruin your reputation. Maybe they could be depressed <laughs> that some sort of lies about you did not work. It did not change the minds of other people. That's my right ear going, ringing, okay? We have facts here. It says, no facts. It says, never has the facts makes shit up lies. I can't make this up. This person's a fucking liar. Somebody was out here lying on your goddamn name, trying to ruin your reg reputation, okay? I'm also getting somebody here could have been saying that you're in bad health, but you're not in bad health. Someone here could have been lying about your own mental state. So someone out here could have been saying that you're crazy, that you need to be on psych meds, that you need to be locked up in a, in a, in a uh, psych place or whatever. Maybe that's what this whole court situation was. Okay, ciao. Because you're spiritual, maybe because you were going through some sort of spiritual awakening, someone thought like your mental health was off. That's somebody here. Tell me more. This spiritual hater or this hater in general could be um, someone's ex. Doesn't have to be though. Holy Spirit, honey, angels, why did we get this? Okay. Okay, so somebody here who's into you that wants to be with you. Okay. This person could be contacting you through fake accounts. Okay. We have fake social media accounts to spy, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Mm. Listen. <laughs> Y'all need to <laughs> Listen to me right now. If someone here is going to give you a gift. Like, oh, here, I'm giving you a present. Here's an olive branch. Let's play nicey nice. This person is doing this to trap you, to imprison you in some way, or to trap your gifts. If you're someone who's spiritual and you have spiritual gifts, someone's trying to lock, put your gifts on lockdown. Oh! <gasps> Oh my God, God is real. <laughs> God is real. Someone is trying to put your gifts in spiritual lockdown. Somebody need to pay attention. Someone's gonna send someone some, uh, someone's gonna give someone some gift to cause them to have some sort of nightmares or to have bad health or to drive them crazy. So they can start seeing some things so they can get paranoid, so they can have insomnia. Or maybe this is a gift you already accepted from someone. Y'all need to pay attention. Now listen, this person is trying to do this and give you this gift so they could be connected to your energy is also what I'm getting. So it could they could have access to you. Yeah, this is someone you've been you moved on from. Whoever this person who's into you. You've already moved on from this person. So I feel like this could be an ex. Okay, this could be an ex-lover. an ex. This could be a family member or a, a friend that you no longer want to talk to or a co-worker. Something like that is significant, okay? I'm also getting somebody could be sending you this gift. Because somebody is into you and someone's coming in to like offer you some sort of partnership or marriage, okay? 
This is wild. Spirit, what else is going on here for my Aquarius? This is <laughs> Aquarius. What do they need to hear? Lord. Listen, somebody mad that you a star, bitch. That you shine bright like a goddamn diamond. Someone is upset about this. Someone's mad that your your spiritual protection is on fucking fleek. Ew, I never even say that word. Okay, somebody... <laughs> somebody you know says that word, okay? Look. Your success is guaranteed. Someone's upset about this. Whoever your hater is, someone who is wishing on your downfall, they're so pissed. They're pissed about this. Okay? Yeah, listen, this person was really wishing something on you, okay? Yeah, somebody here was definitely trying to accuse you of something. I cannot make this up, okay? Look, we have finger. It says warning you, warning you of a problem either now or in the near future, okay? Someone here is, is going to try to point the finger at you or accuse you of something, okay? Look, we have bow here. It says you are highly thought of. And I feel like what this is saying is that you're highly thought of in the spiritual realm and someone here is trying to ruin your reputation or your status here on the earthly realm okay but i feel like uh the divine and your spirit team and your ancestors um and angels ain't having it with this person tell me more Ooh, somebody here is working extra harder to fuck with you like they're doing it overtime is what i'm getting here someone here could be um someone could live in the country or uh something like that with the boot i keep getting that for you guys last time i got something about uh brooks and dunn somebody lives in the country or someone country music or someone dresses like a cowboy or something okay listen we have reef it says sorry sorrow over a loss so i feel like somebody here could be passing away i'm also getting somebody could have lied and said that you passed away i know this sounds random we got cat here whoa we got cat here okay it says a two-faced friend. So you guys could be dealing with a two-faced friend that is lying to your face and then running back and telling people your business to other people that they know don't like you is what I'm getting here. I feel like whoever this person is, they're going to receive some sort of loss because of some sort some sort of betrayal or negativity that they were doing towards you. Okay. It says forces working against you. So whoever this person was, was definitely working against you. Whoever this two-faced friend is. This person could own a cat. Don't have to. Something about the, the month of July. Damn, I am fucking... Thank you. I am connected. Okay, we got July here. Something about the month of July here. Somebody could be born in the month of July. Okay, somebody, you could be dealing with a cancer... Leo, right? Yeah, you could be dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay. Something about an owl. You guys could be seeing a lot of owls right now. It says good advice from a wise person. You guys could be receiving some sort of good advice from a wise person about this gift here. Okay. It says broken bridge. It says unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So I feel like since you guys are getting this message, okay, you're not going to take this gift or you're just going to listen to your intuition and know what to do. Okay. Because you're divinely protected and someone cannot take that from you. Okay. You're someone who's highly thought of in the spiritual realm. Okay. And you're a fucking star and your success is guaranteed. Someone really trying to fuck with you. You guys could be dealing with a younger man, or there's a younger man somewhere involved in here. It says dealings or relationship. Dang, they just flying. Dealings or relationship with a younger man. Okay. Let's see what Big Bertha got to say, okay? Actually, hold on. What kind of people are you dealing with first? Because 
I know birth birth is a wild card. You guys could be dealing with someone who's part of the LGBTQ or non-binary community. Or someone here who has acne, freckles, um, or some sort of blemishes. Something significant about somebody's skin. Or someone could be, um, if someone's in bad health, they could have like, um, I'm getting the word lesions. They could have lesions on their skin. Or sores. Something like that is significant. Dang. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more what's going on here? What does this person look like? What do these people look like? Now, these people could look like you, okay? Or they could look like the person, or both. We got braces, crooked smile. Okay, someone here could have uh, braces or a crooked smile that you're dealing with, okay? Someone here could have a mustache or a beard. Tell me more, Spirit. What does this person be looking like? Ciao. Someone here could be a Sagittarius, or someone could have Sag somewhere in their chart here. Okay, tell me more. Someone here could be a teenager. Someone could be 17 years old. They don't have to be, but we have teenager or younger. Okay, that's involved in this situation. Or someone's just acting like they in their teens still or something. Tell me more. Okay, we got, or you've met, you knew this person. If this is like someone who's into you that really wants to come in and offer you some sort of partnership here that's long term. Okay. The last time, or the first time you met this person was when you were in your younger years, okay? When you were a teenager. Someone here has a big smile or straight teeth, okay? Tell me more. Someone here could have pale or fair complexion, okay? Someone here could be tall or taller than you, all right? Someone could be in the NBA. That's not for everybody, though, Okay? We got Scorpio. Somebody here could be a Scorpio, okay? And someone here could have plump lips. I feel like I'm rushing, but I need to, like, slow down for some reason. Well, I know I need to slow down, but... What am I saying right now? <sighs> I feel like the energy of rushing. Like, someone's trying to rush towards you. It's like someone's trying to rush towards you, but they also know that they need to slow down. Maybe somebody could be driving wild or reckless. Reckless driving is significant. Or someone's trying to make you recklessly drive on the road. So be careful. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my Aquariuses need to know regarding what we have channeled here? Something about someone's cousin because cousin wanted to flip out. But it flipped back in. So maybe somebody's cousin knows something. And they're not saying something. We have shameless crime. Something about a shameless crime is involved in here regarding some sort of premeditated murder chow somebody's boyfriend or ex-boyfriend is involved in this situation or has knowledge or someone was trying to do this to somebody's boyfriend we got ringing in right ear what the hell spirit is in the house ringing in right ear you guys could be experiencing that someone here is definitely obsessed with you they can't get they can't get enough of your energy Somebody here could be very religious or something about um, uh, Christianity or Catholicism is significant. Whoever is this spiritual hater, okay, whoever this spiritual hater is, uh, is somebody that could be, um, mm, I got something else too. interesting uh could be someone who's of this type of faith you know what else i'm getting okay whoever this hater is the spiritual hater someone could be feeling like someone this this could be a group this could be a church this could be a church building or a church organization that wants people to disengage from listening to you or from having you spread some sort of light or magic or power or to empower others through spirituality this organization may not want you to continue to do this they want people to like back away from you maybe they feel like you're making them bankrupt maybe they feel like you're um taking from them in some way like you're 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 messing with the church's money or something like that 
You could be a threat to them. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. Damn. We have judges crooked. There's something about a judge here that could be crooked. Someone's going to come in with some sort of fake apology. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that you are lovable and you are deserving of love. Okay. This is under premeditated murder. So I feel like somebody here, something about a robbery as well, but I'm going to put it back in here. Ooh, and something about indoctr indoctrination of children. Somebody could have tried to, um, somebody could have tried to instill some sort of hate inside of a child's mind in order to, I don't know, enact some sort of violence towards you or to do something against you in the court of law or something, something like that is significant. I also feel like whoever was trying to, whoever was put up to do this here, okay, this person realized that you're, that they, they love you or something, okay, we got a karmic mother, okay, somebody's karmic mother could be obsessed with them, okay, or somebody's karmic mother could be um, trying to ruin someone's reputation, we got stomach issues, somebody's karmic mother could have stomach issues, okay, something about somebody's brother, maybe a brother and a mother, tell me more. Okay, yeah, something about rumors and lies. Something about rumors and lies are significant. I'm also getting some sort of judge could have been involved in spreading some sort of rumors or lies on you or about your partner or whoever this is involving. Once again, we got murder weapon found here. Someone don't like that you're joyful. Ooh, somebody here was definitely in their ego. Because this flipped on its own. Somebody definitely here was acting out of their ego here. Okay. Somebody tried to get you fired. Tell me more. If you guys recently lost a job, it was because someone someone was trying someone was mad because they couldn't end your life, so they decided to end your stability. We have moving on up, level level up one, level one up. I can't even talk. Somebody's karmic mother was trying to level up, move on up in life by your death basically there's people that know about this that were definitely paid off tell me more or were or that were promised money maybe this person cannot pay them tell me more we got i am woman by emmy millie i think that's how you say her name Someone doesn't like that you, that you love yourself, that you're a woman, that you're a strong woman, that you're a woman that knows what they want, that you're a woman that's a dreamer. Someone really does not like this. It causes them stomach issues. It makes this person ill. That's a problem. Someone here is going to get sentenced 20, 20 years to life for being involved in some sort of setup against you. Okay. Or someone's about to get some sort of life sentence. Damn, spirit. Speak to them. Speak to them, spirit. Someone here definitely underestimated you. Someone could have underestimated your, your psychic abilities. Someone could have estimated your intelligence. Someone could have underestimated your resilience. Someone underestimated your ass. Someone underestimated your, your spiritual rank, your spiritual protection. This is wild. We got, we're solving crimes right here. Somebody need to pay attention. This is under murder weapon found, baby. <laughs> Listen, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? I feel like I'm preaching up in here. Someone could be a preacher. Don't get me started. We got lesbian. Somebody here could be a lesbian. You could be a lesbian. Somebody's mama could be a lesbian. Place it where it needs to go. It says false evidence appearing real. Someone here was definitely trying to put fear into you or have other people fear you without any evidence. We have hit and run involving a death. Someone could have been trying to trying to blame some sort of um, hit and run on you or someone was trying to do a hit and run on you so that you could pass away. They underestimated you. 
okay? They underestimated that God was guiding you and is still guiding you. You guys could have been, okay, for instance, what I'm getting with that is that, like, you guys could have been planned out your day, like, oh, I'm going to go to the laundromat, and then after the laundromat, I'm going to go to, I don't know, the grocery store, and then after the grocery store, I'm going to go to the, I don't know, right? Something told you not to go somewhere that you already planned ahead to go. Good. This could have happened in February. You decided to go somewhere else. I feel like you listened to your intuition and your intuition saved you from something in February, either of this year or last year. Place it where it needs to go. Tell me more. What else do they need to know, Spirit? Dang, I am on a roll right now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the Holy Spirit is what I feel like. <laughs> Okay, we got winning resume. So, listen, no matter how hard someone try to ruin your reputation or drag your name in the mud, you you still have a good reputation here. Okay, we got hateful baby mama. Somebody's hateful baby mama could be involved in here. And we got love offer. So, there could be a hateful baby mama up in this bitch that is very upset that there's a man out here that's very much into you. Okay, may want to offer you the goddamn world, and this bitch is pissed. She tried to, she tried to get you off this planet. She tried to put a, a crime against you. This person is someone who's real cold. This is a cold individual. Someone's gonna, someone tried to put you through some sort of prosecution. Someone tried to, someone tried to put you through what Jesus went through. Is what I'm getting here. This is ridiculous. Someone made a bad business deal here. There's someone here that got involved in this situation. They took some money from somebody, one of your ops. This person's also going to jail. They're realizing whatever they did, it was whatever they got involved in was is bad news is bad news bears. And I keep getting something about bears for everybody. Chicago Bears, the Bears. Something about bears. Maybe you live somewhere where there's bears. I don't know. Or someone's a bear. Like in the LGBTQ community. Can you tell me more? What's going on here? Someone's upset that their plan didn't work. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you tell me more? What do they need to know? Yeah, some sort of deadline is already here. Okay. Tell me more. Or someone's definitely running out of time to tell the truth about something. Yeah. We got cleansing here. I feel like you removed any negative shit out of your life and someone's mad about it. Someone wants you to compromise with them. I'm also getting somebody wants you to settle, but you're not willing to settle. Okay, you're somebody here who's very in tune with the universe. You're well connected with the divine. And I feel like someone here has no other choice but to reveal or confess some sort of truth or knowledge that they know. This person has no other choice. I feel like this is like someone feels like if they don't say this, then I don't know. Or like some sort of plea deal. Like if they reveal some sort of truth, then they get less time. Something like that is significant. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more what's going on here for my Aquarius? Hell no to the no no no. I don't know what that's about. We got mother. Somebody here, um, their mother could be involved in this situation, or you could be a mom. We got soldier. Somebody here could have um somebody could be in the army or the military or something like that. And then we have the moon here. So someone here could be hiding something. Someone was hiding something. I'm also getting if you're a mother. You're, you had very strong protection and someone was hiding, hiding you from someone. If someone was trying to get after you and harm you in some way, if this was like a baby mama or something, your ancestors hid you, your spirit team, the divine hid you. They protected you from being found. That's for somebody. What else do they need to know?
I gotta wrap this up because we're almost at an hour. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do my Aquariuses need to know regarding this situation? Someone here could be very serious. Okay, at this time, someone here could be very depressed. Okay, someone could feel very threatened. I'm also getting like, you could be very serious about your boundaries here. Or you're serious about some sort of judgment or decision you made. That's And it's triggering somebody here. Okay, it could be causing someone to get depressed. Okay. Someone else could feel very threatened. This person who's threatened is very fucking miserable. Or someone who's in bad health, like literally in bad health. Okay, someone here is afraid of some sort of judgment or God's wrath that's coming down on them. Or someone's just afraid of your power. I'm getting something about like this person's in awe. Yeah, wow. This person could be su surprised by you or the knowledge that you have. I'm also getting somebody could be annoyed by you. They feel like you're a fly that they can't kill or squash. Someone thinks that you're a nuisance. Like someone feels like, well, as long as... Like, someone feels like, if, if I could just get this person gone, then, like, everything in my life will be better. But it's like, that's, that's, this person got more problems than they know. <laughs> this is what it feels like. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. I also feel like someone could be telling someone, like, um, it's not that serious. What else do I need to know? Yeah, I could be talking to someone who, who's, someone who has mastered themselves. Or someone who's very much enlightened here. Someone's watching you. Someone could be listening in on your conversations. Or your phone calls. Tell me more. Yeah, something here is going to happen out of nowhere. Expect the unexpected. You guys could be seeing the number 555. I keep hearing, hell no, the na na na. Or to the na na na, hell to the na. Someone could ask you something and you're going to say, hell no. Nah. Tell me more. Look, okay, this they, these cards keep looking at me. Someone's name could be Leo, or someone could look like this person, or someone's, uh, someone could be a Leo, okay? And this person keep looking at me, okay? Someone's name could be Daniel, or they could, they could look like this man, okay? <sighs> yeah, someone could be afraid of your power. I'm also getting something about the power of prayer. Someone's gonna realize the true power of prayer here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, somebody here took a, a gamble or a risk. And I feel like it's a risk or a, gam a gamble that somebody's going to regret. Someone didn't take some, some sort of warning or heed of warning seriously. Someone's going to up and leave someone out of nowhere. It's going to leave this person baffled is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Someone here is definitely spying on you, researching you, okay, or getting information about you. Whoever this person is, is someone who's very much heartbroken, okay? This could be an ex or someone you just disconnected from or disengaged from. Yeah, somebody here missed some sort of opportunity with you. I'm also getting this person is refusing to take the cup from the universe. Someone's refusing to look within and heal themselves, basically. You guys could be dealing with the King of Pentacles or someone who owns a business, okay? You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or someone has Taurus in their chart because that's what it looked like while her or a Capricorn or Virgo, okay? Someone's afraid. So you listen. Whoever I'm talking to, your power or your belief in yourself or whatever this is. This is keeping someone up at night. Like this, this is causing someone to have like nightmares, like this nightmare card. Like someone was trying to give you nightmares and sleepless nights, and someone else is getting nightmares and sleepless nights. 
This is the wrath. This is the thunder. Somebody, somebody, somebody did not have as much protection as they thought they did. This could be someone who thinks that they're like close to the divine or something. Maybe somebody thought like uh, persecuting you was, uh, this could have been someone who's very passionate about, um, bringing you down because they thought that because of the things that they believe in, like traditional religion was the right way or the only way to connect with, with God or something. And this person is getting proven to otherwise or something like that is significant. Like somebody thought, oh, God's on my side, but somebody's getting smacked the fuck down or something. Like somebody, someone's definitely learning some sort of lesson here is what I'm getting here. Something like that. Something to that effect. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do they need to hear? Well, what time is it? Gosh dang it. Let's do a little bit of this. What do they need to hear when it comes to the, the haters? You guys can be dealing with the Pisces or someone has Pisces in their chart. We have, we have this hater has humiliated you before. So this is someone who's tried to make you look dumb in public or something. Yeah, this is someone you just, you no longer talk to. Okay, it says stalking or social media is part of this person's routine. So this is the norm for this person. And it says this hater was once in prison or jail. <laughs> Damn. It says this hater talks mad lies about you to people so they won't like you. <sighs> well, thank you, Spirit. What kind of good things can my Aquariuses expect in the next week? Something about TikTok is significant. I don't know if you're going to receive some sort of answer through a TikTok or some sort of confirmation to something. Or maybe you're a TikToker. Or maybe you need to start a TikTok. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Ooh, we got ten of Ariel. It says there is so okay. Th it says there is so very much to be grateful for. It says financial success and the promise of retirement. It says a rich and rewarding family life. Beautiful. We have eight of Michael here. It says you can be free. It says make a courageous choice to change your situation not seeing things clearly so there's something here that you may not be seeing clearly in the next week okay when it comes to some sort of relationship or some sort of connection here it says two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful it says kindred spirits it says don't give up on those you love tell me more what else can they expect next week we got four of raphael it says seek out other possibilities Look for the magic in life. It says, be aware of your own emotions. Okay. Something about your heart chakra is significant. Dang. We got Knight of, <laughs> Knight of Raphael. It says, committed romantic relationships. It says, being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. So... Someone gonna offer you something. It's gonna make your heart flutter, okay? We have page of Ariel. It says, a excellent opportunity will be offered to you. Scholarships or the pursuit of education. Time to get to work. So you guys could be getting some sort of job offer in the next week or some sort of romantic offer in the next week, okay? This could be good or this could be bad. Let's, oh, damn. We got peace at the bottom of the deck. Whatever this is, this offer is, is gonna bring you some sort of level of peace. I feel like this is positive. Okay, it says release the past. It says there is more. Release the past. 
It says, there is a more enriching, enriching future coming. Let go and let God. Okay. So you may find out who your hidden en enemy is. Okay. So when that happens, try to... Try not to snap is what I'm getting. Okay. It could be somebody's hateful baby mama. You guys could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer that's going to come in and offer you this, um, this gift here. Is this good or bad? Ooh. Uh, use your intuition with this offering here. Mm, no, you shouldn't take the offer. <laughs> it says no. It's impossible. Don't. It don't. See see how I second guess myself? You might second guess yourself. So someone might come in and try to make you second guess some sort of like decision of you being like hell nah. Maybe you're really like hell nah about something and someone might come in and try to make you choose otherwise. What else do they need to hear, spirit? Ooh, you guys could be seeing uh 111, okay? Or 1111. We got prosperity. It says your actions have resulted in incoming abundance. Damn, y'all gonna get something good. We got pay attention to your dreams, okay? It says you are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. Even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. I feel like I need to say it. Okay, listen, I'm trying not, to, I'm not gonna make this long, but I'm just gonna say this. Um, I had a dream two nights ago, okay? This dream was about my sister, okay? She's an Aquarius, which is funny, okay, that I'm bringing this up right now. So the dream was I was in my room and uh, she was blocking the door that's in my room to go, you know, the door to outside the hall, right? And I kept, I don't remember all of it. All I remember vividly is her blocking it. Like, no, you haven't done enough. And then I'm like, what are you talking about? So then we start arguing. And I remember I start pulling her hair and she starts punching me. And I start punching her and we're like fist fighting and I'm angry. And I remember I, I, while I'm like punching her, I'm telling her, I'm like, do you know how hard it is to take care or wait, what did I say? You know how hard it is to, to, to be independent and to provide for yourself with no one's help. And I'm just like punching the shit out of her okay <laughs> so it felt real fucking vivid and real fucking real okay i woke up angry and the thing is i already know me and my sister have beef so i don't know if that means like this bitch is trying to fight me in the spiritual realm because she just might i'm just putting it out there okay so you guys could be having these dreams of fighting people these could be your hidden enemies. Okay. Tell me more. We have journaling. It says consistently writing about your feelings and activities stirs creative ideas and builds your confidence as a writer. So some of you could be writers. Okay. It could probably be a good time to start journaling. Okay, we have, especially when it comes to your emotions, journal your emotions. It says, um, or maybe that's somewhere you need to start. It says authenticity. It says trust that your real self, whom God created divinely perfect, has the strength and knowledge needed for this situation. So remember to stay true to yourself. Keep it fucking real with yourself. We have nurture yourself. It says investing time in self-care now will yield more energy for you later. Okay. Okay, Aquarius, let's end it with something positive here. Motivating. What do they need to hear? What do my Aquarius need to hear at this time, Spirit? What do they need to hear? Something that's good. Something good. They want you to stand tall. Make your ancestors and angels proud. Okay? We have inhale the future, exhale the past. Something about breathing. It was hard for me to breathe earlier in this read. Maybe you guys can benefit from some do by doing some sort of breathing exercises. I need to take that advice too. Okay, we have damn, you're good. Okay, 
And then we have Dream Bigger. Some of y'all, you guys have some dreams, but you, maybe you're thinking on a small scale. You need to dream bigger about what you're able to accomplish. It says, wa wake up, kick ass, and repeat. Okay? This is going to be the end of your reading, Aquarius. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to, um, to like, comment, and share the video. If you would like a personal reading, check my description box below for lindalikestarot at gmail.com. If you're interested in, in any jewelry, email me at the same place. Okay, this is going to be the end of your reading. Love you. Bye. <laughs>